going to review how to retain Microsoft Word's auto numbering functionality when you want to exclude a paragraph clause or a sentence from a numbered list within your document. In our sample document here, bullet number one is only to be included if the client is a U.S. citizen. So when we go over to our Woodpecker task panel on the right, we have the trigger question already set up, is the client a U.S. citizen? If they are, then we do want to include bullet point one. So to set this up, we're going to start by selecting the plus button. To add a field to the document, we'll call this simply conditional field. And we're going to give it a field type. It's going to be a conditional. And let's expand the task panel so we can see more of the text here. So just hover your, cur your cursor on the edge and just pull it and drag it so it's as wide as you'd like it. So is the client a citizen of the U.S.? If the answer to that question is yes, we want to include the first and the second bullet points. So we're going to highlight that text. Control or Command C to copy. We're going to paste it in the thin section of the conditional as multi-line text. So Command or Control V to paste. And now we want to clean up the formatting. We want to remove any blank spaces as well as the numbering. Microsoft Word is going to utilize its auto numbering feature in the list. So we're going to get rid of the numbers, get rid of the white space. Looks like there's a suspicious blank line here. Let's get rid of that and one more blank space. Right? So just delete or backspace to get rid of those. We're going to add the second part of the condition. So is the client a U.S. citizen? If the answer to that question is no, we do not need the first bullet point. We simply need the second bullet point. So we're going to copy. Again, we're going to insert that in the then statement um, as multi-line text. And let's clean up any blank spaces, any numbers. And that looks like we have everything. And so we're going to save this conditional field. Now we need to insert it in the document. So we're going to get rid of the text in the first and second bullet points. Keep your cursor right after bullet point number one, and that's where we're going to click to insert the field. Now we want to trigger one of the conditions. So let's answer the question, is the client a citizen? If the answer is yes, and we populate, we get the first bullet point and the second bullet point. If we say no, we should not see the first bullet point anymore, and the second bullet point will be now the first bullet point, and then all of the additional paragraphs and sentences and bullets beneath are properly auto-numbered.